Matt Damon is taking on a risky and some would say risque role in Behind the Candelabra. The film about Liberace premieres on HBO this weekend. ABC's Elizabeth Vargas, fresh off the plane, sat down with the Oscar <laughs> winner in con. She's back. You were there at the festival, have all the juicy details. And he seems like just a just a down he home kind of guy. So nice. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed sitting down. Bonjour. <laughs> uh, I brought you some bonbons Ooh, from France. Yeah, I'm back from my toughest assignment to date, uh, going to Cannes to interview uh, the whole cast from the new movie Liberace. Matt Damon and I sat down to talk not only about his fabulous new role in this amazing movie, but also his marriage to his Lucy, as he calls her, and now he avoids the paparazzi and so much more. Wow, indeed. This is, to say the least, a side of Matt Damon we haven't seen before, all feathered hair and wide lapels. I never saw so many pianos. Oh, I never touched them. Any trepidation at all about taking on this role? No, no, not at all. To me, this is the dream job. It was a chance to, to be in the front row while Michael, you know, turned in this amazing performance. Well, I ask you, can you see me now? Michael Douglas plays the flamboyant Liberace, and Damon, the man best known as super spy Jason Bourne, is taking on a very different mission as his young lover. We played it as a very deep love affair. You know, it was a marriage in a lot of ways for these guys. The squabbles that these two men had were very like the squabbles you hear going on in almost any house. Right, exactly. I'm crawling the walls a little, that's all. I just, why can't we see people? What are you talking about? I just took him to Jim Namer's Dom Deloise concert. Yeah, that was, that was one time. Douglas may get the splashier wardrobe with the capes and the furs, but Damon gets some rhinestones of his own. I don't know what's more uh, spectacular when it comes to costumes, if it's Michael's fur, capes, or your white thong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have never had this much fun. It had jewels encrusted all over a it. Jewel so encrusted a jewel encrusted. Mankini. I have to ask, what was it like to shoot the sex scenes with Michael? The more challenging stuff for, I think, was really selling the intimacy of, of a relationship that's kind of a deep love affair. That stuff is actually, to me, way more intimate than like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna straddle you right now and like plant one on you <laughs> for, for exactly seven seconds. You ready? Damon's off-screen romantic life is much less salacious. He's been married to Luciana for seven years, and just last month, the couple had a private celebration on the island of St. Lucia in front of family and some special friends. You recently renewed your wedding vows? Yeah. I have to ask, did Jimmy Kimmel officiate? <laughs> I will neither confirm nor deny that. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, uh, there, I'm, he, he may have. He may have officiated at the wedding, yeah. And, and is he a secret minister, or? <laughs> I mean, what, what don't I know? We were looking for the, for the perfect blend of uh, depth, but humor and uh, humanity and uh, he, he was he was the right guy for the job. You have one of the great marriages in Hollywood. Um, why we do don't live in Hollywood. <laughs> well, I know. As somebody who lived, maybe yeah. that's why. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, uh, you know, we, we get left alone really by the by the paparazzi and that stuff. So so the celebrity thing doesn't really kind of weigh on us. I How think the you way. How managed to do that though? Because I, other I, people are hounded. They really are, and, and friends of mine who are no more interesting or no less interesting. Or well, Ben Affleck has. Yeah, been. and Ben, they, they don't. Ben and Jen, they don't do anything to uh, court it, you mm -hmm. know, other than their job, which is the same as me. So I think some people are just, you know, it just happens for some people that way, and I'm lucky that it's not that way for me. He's a great guy. He really is. Mm -hmm. Behind the Candelabra debuts on HBO this Sunday, May 26th. And it's a great film. Well, merci, merci for bringing that to de us. De rien, de rien. Uh, that's all I know. No, it's not mercy. I'm out. That, that, that and I'm out. But thanks. Great to see you, Elizabeth. Great as always. And as she said, Behind the Candelabra premieres Sunday, 26th on HBO. Looking forward to it.